Question 17. So you've got two options here. You could complete the square or you could use the formula, uh, the quadratic formula. I'm, I'm going to go with completing the square. I just like completing the square. So if I complete the square, it's going to look like this. I'm going to have, remember you half the 6. Now I need to take away the excess there. So I'm going to take away 3 squared, which is 9. Remember I've still got a minus 8 over there. That's going to equal 0. So let's tidy this up a little bit more. You might need to polish up when you're completing the square if you're not too sure. So that's going to be take away 17. Whoops, I forgot my square there, which equals 0. OK, so let's add 17 to both sides. So just doing one thing at a time. So we're going to add 17. That's nice. Now we're going to square root both sides. So now we've got x minus 3 and square root of 17. So remember when we take the square root, that's where we get the plus minus bit. Add 3 to both sides. So x equals 3 plus minus root 17. So that works out quite neatly. So we can see that A equals 3 and B equals 17. So remember you could use the, uh, the quadratic formula as well. You'd get to the same result.